This is an introductory video to the series that we are starting here with OS Query. In the first video of this series, we are going to explain the why. Why do we need OS Query? We have Sysmon and we have you know standard logs uh, from operating systems. Why do we need this uh, OS Query thing? Well, we're going to prove in that first video, in the case of Linux, that getting the Linux log, while, while, it, while it's good to be sent to QReader, uh, we'll see that it's not good enough. We'll see that uh, the attackers can bypass some traditional security things in, in Linux systems, and you will not get any anything on the logs. And actually, we will clearly mention, even though in the at least on the first part of these videos, we're only going to be doing this with Linux. We'll mention that uh, the beauty, one of the beauty things about, uh, beautiful things about OS Query is that it's multi-platform, both for Mac, Windows, and Linux system. So that is the first video. In the second video, we're going to show you how to download and install OS Query, at least for Linux. Right? Installation is actually very similar. So we're going to go through a complete install, initial configuration. And I say initial because we're going to change that configuration. The idea of this is not to give you something working, but to show you how to get there. And we're going to be uh, playing with uh, this, with the first configuration, we're going to be doing it on this directory and this particular file. So we'll see that when we bypass the standard security of a Linux system by pretending to be an attacker with privileges. And we are going to be seeing that OS Query will capture those things that otherwise will be completely vanished from the actual logs. In video number three, we're going to show that this OS Query produce a nice log where all those actions are, are there. But the problem is that we need to bring that file into QReader. There are multiple ways of doing that. We decided to use in this particular case, because some people use this technology also, all the things in Curita, to use syslogng to do that. Uh, so the idea is uh, we'll use that, that the result of what OS Query produces is sent to Curator, and we work on the configuration on this particular file and that's the initial configuration. Again, this we're going to be changing it. And hopefully, you will learn as much as we did on how to set up syslog ng. Now, so we have, at the end of video number three, we are able to send those logs to QReader when some attacker uh, bypassed the security of the, of the machine. But QReader is not ready to parse those videos yet. And this video is particularly long because not only we in you know download what is required to install the DSM, we, we add a log source, uh, and we see that we, we can easily correctly parse OS Query logs. We also download an app that contains uh, extensions for OS Query from the App Exchange. But then we go ahead and correct the fact that when we did this thing, we lost the initial, the standard Linux logs. And what we do in the rest of the video is show you what we did in order to set this up to get both OS Query as well as, as the standard uh, Linux logs, right? So that initial file that we use for the configuration, we no longer use in video number two and, and further down. In, in video number four, we still made changes into the OS Query uh, configuration file. But we also do extensive changes on the default that we use in video number three on the syslogng configuration. And we learn a lot of things about it and we're passing that knowledge along. And we made those changes in this particular configuration file. So it's all about playing with all those things. And finally, from video number five and, and part five and, 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 and subsequent, we are going to be doing OS query use cases. We're going to be attacking machines and we're going to be showing 
how we use the infrastructure that we set up in order to catch the bad guys when they attack Linux system. And again, keep in mind that this is also multi-platform is one of the things that it makes OS Query most attractive.